Bernard here. I hope you're all staying safe and well. And welcome to my film and TV channel, one of our regular features. But we'll have a look at uh, Freeview UK TV. Yep, yeah, football's nearly done, nearly done with. I think we've got the final, haven't we, on the 10th, which is where this all, sorry, 10th, uh, yes, this starts on the 10th. I think the final's on the 11th, isn't it, of July? So uh, we'll have that over with. And uh, uh, tennis is finishing as well. So, yeah, we're going to have a look at uh, Saturday the 10th of July till Friday the 16th of July. What's on UK Freeview TV? Yeah, a quick glance through. Yeah, um, a new drama, uh, some documentaries, some interesting documentaries, a good good mix uh, this week. Uh, and a couple of good films as well that uh, you may you may have seen or are always, always worth a watch. So please join me as you look through our public of course our get main guest publication i do have the odd ones every now and then again but i subscribe to this so i mean i'm wasting my money for buy something else aren't i but i do do it occasionally if, if the mood takes me or the postage is delayed in some way anyway let's have a look at that today you'll check on screen for all my uh facebook and twitter links uh subscriptions buttons there to to uh push i've got a couple of shops on ebay uh movie game nostalgia.com and pr6505 where you can get dvds uh movie posters uh board games etc etc if you get a chance to have a look at them or if you if you can't find them just give us a shout and i'll point in the right direction so lots of stuff on there, of course, and uh, you'll see th things as well on my football team, Manchester City. If that's of any interest, if not, let, give, if someone else might be, give them a give them a nudge in my direction. I'll be very grateful. All your comments welcome. Anything you're watching this week that uh, you're looking forward to watching, or anything to do with film and TV, it doesn't matter. And please, thumbs ups are always nice. Right, we'll start at the very beginning, shall we? We'll start at Saturday, the tenth of July. I just pick three things out a day. So we go over to ITV for the first thing. Uh, yeah, we've got uh, a new series rolling in it. There we go, new series one of nine. This is series two, if you watched it the first time around. It's uh, a quiz. Yeah, I don't, don't really watch many quizzes these days. I'm a, I can't really be that bothered, to be honest with you. But uh, if you like your quiz shows, Stephen Mullen returns with the show where contestants can win a fortune on the roll of a coin. Of course they can. They probably don't, but they do sometimes, I assume. And same with nine o'clock. There's a new series of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? I used to love uh, watching this, but again, I've gone off it a little bit, even though I like Jeremy Clarkson, uh, but he's back with this one. Uh, this is one of seven. He's going to try and confound six fearless contestants, uh, uh, obviously, who are just 15 questions away from a seven-figure jackpot. I always fancied going on it, but I think I did apply in the, in the early days, but I didn't I didn't get any sort of uh, notification, so I knocked it on the head. On to Channel 5, 9 o'clock, Saturday, the 10th of July. The Curse of Grace Kelly's Children. Yeah, I think there was a feature on Grace Kelly last week, wasn't there? How Princess Caroline Albert and Princess Stephanie were dogged by controversy and tragedy after the tragic death of their mother so that's nine o'clock channel five you want to uh, continue your grace kelly theme there on to sunday the 11th of july hey good film bbc one 11.05 The Client yeah a thriller based on the novel of course by John Grisham I do like his books Mark Sway attracts the attention of both the law and the mafia when he witnesses the suicide of a mob defence lawyer very young lad isn't he Susan Sarandon's in this of course Tommy Lee Jones uh, that's a good film worth a watch BBC 4 10 o'clock yeah the sky at night is shining bright I think that's the song isn't it uh, yeah E.T. and the BBC Maggie Maggie Adderin Pocock and Chris Lintock discover how the search for extraterrestrial life in the universe has been reported by the BBC over the past six decades. I'm sure we'll get some new stuff. Have we found anyone yet? I think they keep blabbing on that we have found something, but I don't know. Sunday 11th of July, still 8pm, Channel 5, The Best Exotic Marigold Hotel. What a cracking little film that was. Comedy drama, a group of impoverished British... Impoverished? Impoverished? Were they? Uh, British pensioners decide to try to make pennies go further by spending their retirement at what they believe to be a luxury hotel in Jaipur and yeah we've, we've watched all the follow-ons haven't we in the real life documentaries quite interesting quite interesting on to Monday the 12th of July yeah a new quiz another quiz show here we go a new series new series of only connect oh I do I do I do like uh, Victoria Cor Cor Mitchell she's my secret secret crush I think uh, returns with the quiz based on patience and lateral thinking uh, I've, I've seen a bit on Gogglebox so that it looks a bit I, can't, I don't think I can get my head round it to be honest with you not within the time limit anyway I'd have to think long and hard uh, so that's a new series 8 o'clock BBC 2 
Um, BBC Fort 950, Romance in the Stone. No, not the film. Uh, the Golden Age of British Sculpture. Yeah, one of three, this Masons of God. Uh, critic Alistair Souk examines a period of sculptures to discover stories of great British sculptors and the breakthroughs behind their work, beginning with medieval times. I mean, what did they have to work with in medieval times? A bit of some, some wood, I'm not too sure. Hey, but there you go. Uh, probably probably didn't. I mean, the stone wasn't there. Of course there was. Uh, Channel 5, Drama of the Week. Here we go. This is a new drama, one of four, a suburban noir thriller. There you go. A couple seeking a fresh start in Melbourne hire a living nanny who turns out to be not as innocent as she first appeared. It continu continues tomorrow at 9pm. So there we go, Channel 5. I'm looking forward to that. I think you know what my... Uh, my must watch of the week is don't you? you know, I know I like my dramas and like reviewing them and getting all the uh, thoughts from you kind people out there when I do those reviews. On to Tuesday the 13th of July. Yeah, this we're going back to 2017, but if you've been catching up with the Bates Motel on BBC One, yeah, I mean, I watched it first time round on the satellite channels, but uh, yeah, it's uh, Series 5, the start of that, so it's always worth a, another watch, even if you've watched it before. Cracking little series, isn't it? And you've got Series uh, 5, Episode 1 of 10, and Series 5, Episode 2 of 10, all at 11, 11 10 pm BBC One, Tuesday the 13th of July. So uh, if you want to give a watch of that and Ray Mears if you like a bit of Ray Mears ITV 7.30 Tuesday the 13th uh, a new series a bushcraft expert begins his travels in Beijing where he releases an owl back into the wild he used to have an owl come and sit on my shoulders at a friend's house he used to quite like me I don't know why me and animals seem to like me I don't dislike them but I mean I'm, you know I don't do anything to encourage them let's be honest about it uh, and at the Great Wall of China he discovers what life was for the people who built it ah oh, I bet it wasn't good uh, nine o'clock on ITV, Cooking with the Stars. There you go. You can make me some some uh, cheese on toast if they want. A new series, one of six in this new cooking contest. Griffiths, Jones, Shirley Ballas, Catherine Tilsa, AJ Ododu, Naughty Boy, Denise Vanu, and John Johnny Vegas and Harry Judd are paired with the professional chef. There you go. Total disaster probably incoming if you fancy that. Uh, if you like your old cookery stuff. On to Wednesday the fourteenth of July. I see the nine o'clock. Oh, well, this this is watchable, isn't it? The two Ronnies, but Ronnie Corbett's lost tapes. Yeah, an affectionate look back at the life of one of one half of the beloved double act featuring unseen footage from his home movies. His wife Anne and his daughters Emma and Sophie discuss his childhood with early his early comedy career and how he joined forces with Ronnie Barker to become the two Ronnies. So mm, that might sneak up there in one of my must watches as well. I might, have a, I might have a couple this week. And Comedy of the Week, Channel 4, This Way Up, a new series series two one of six so if you like you this way up uh, of course aisling b's award-winning comedy drama returns with a student etienne heading to paris alan's excitement mounts as she prepares for a date with richard the whole series will be available on all four i do like that i mean i might review that i don't know i'll, I'll see how i see how i feel on that one uh, on to wednesday the 14th of july at the evening uh, channel five eight o'clock I think we were at the evening anyway, weren't we? Uh, uh, new today at the Great Yorkshire Show. Yeah, I do like these things, but it's always raining when I go to these things. Uh, one of two, Anita Rani and Jules Hudson present coverage of the annual event, meeting many of the showers, makers and growers at the show returns for its 162nd outing. Yeah, they probably had a hiatus last year, didn't they, because of the uh, COVID situation, so that's good to see. On to Thursday, the 15th of July, 9pm, BBC One. Yeah, uh, NHS, A Hidden History. Yeah, as we emerge from a traumatic global health pandemic, David Olusoga explores the hidden history of the nurses, doctors and health workers who for more than 70 years have been coming to Britain from overseas to serve in the NHS. So that's uh, quite a, a gritty documentary, 9 o'clock BBC One. On to Channel 4 at 8 o'clock. And that evening, Tuesday the 15th of July, a new series, Can I Improve My Memory? What did I just say? I can't remember now. Uh, new series, one of four, Sandy Toxics hosts a celebrities enter a month-long competition designed to supercharge their memory. So you've got Chris Eubank, yeah, he's good for a laugh, Len Goodman, Amber Gill, Nina Wadia and Anna Richardson must learn hundreds of facts about subjects they previously knew nothing about. Well, there's nothing wrong with that. We, want to, we should learn a new fact every day, in my opinion. Uh, 10.55 BBC 4, yeah, another 
another little film, not so many films this week, but uh, Wild, what a great film this was, was uh, of course Stephen Fry in the lead role about Oscar Wilde, a biographical drama, playwright Oscar Wilde in the toast of Victoria London, but his celebrity mass and increasingly reckless private life, great Great film. I watched it a long, long time ago. What year was that one? 1997. So I watched it in my video shot that when it first came out. Great little film. Friday the 16th of July. If you like a bit of Joe Lyce, he does all these uh, celebrity shows and stuff, doesn't he? But he's doing, doing stand-up again. So he's doing I'm About to Lose Control and I Think Joe Lyce. It's comedy, comedian Joe Lyce, presented the great British sewing beat and regular on numerous comedy panel shows, returns to his first love by performing stand-up in front of a sell-out crowd at the Apollo in Hammersmith. So if you like a bit of Joe Lyce, I'd, I liked him in small doses, wherever I could suffer an hour of him, I'm not too sure. Uh, Nine o'clock, BBC Four, Eric Clapton. Yeah, if you like Eric Clapton, life in 12 bars and he's not drinking I think he's playing uh, Eric Clapton has been one of the most famous rock stars in the world since the late 60s when his unique style helped to revolutionise guitar playing but his life has also been blighted by tragedies and addiction so there you go little documentary 9 o'clock well 2 hours little documentary it's on hold for 2 hours uh, 9 o'clock BBC 4 I can give my lad a push on that one he's a keen guitarist my lad Channel 5 to finish the week off Friday the 16th of July. Channel 5, 9 o'clock, new Drain the Ocean. Well, that's what we should do. D-Day Reveal. This is this should be interesting. Yeah, I might, I might give this a watch as well. Uh, Sonar Technology is used beneath Normandy's ways for a powerful look at the more than 100 ships wrecked during the, more, the uh, largest amphibious invasion ever. There you go, D-Day landings, draining the, draining the walls. So let's have a look at those ships. Right, if you said Bernie, you can only watch two things. <laughs> you can only watch two things this week. We're not allowed to watch more than two things. There's a lot of good things on, obviously, isn't there? Um, but the first thing I'm going to say is, yes, I will watch at 9 o'clock. ITV Wednesday the 14th of July, the two Ronnies, Ronnie Corbett's Lost Tapes, I'm going to give that a watch, and um, the other one you probably realise if I can find it because it's on a funny, funny page, it's not sort of separate to everybody, every other page, let's have a look, was it Monday, was it Monday, yeah, Monday, uh, 12th of July, uh, 9 o'clock, Channel 5, the drama of the week, Lie With Me, a suburban noir thriller. I'll be doing, I'm going to look at that and I'll be doing a review of it. Join me for a review and let me know what you think as well. Anyway, there you go. Hope you enjoyed that. Let me know in your comments anything you're looking forward to. What are we going to do the rest of Have a great one. Catch yourselves, catch your friends, catch your families. More importantly, let's all look after each other. So we meet here again on the Film and TV channel or perhaps you have a flit across. Have a look at my cities in channel, my city football channel. Whatever it is, I only ask one thing. Stay safe, everyone. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.